where does Toronto come into this equation? So yeah, Toronto was um, where we had really tried to get into biking around because we were in a context where we had lots of different destinations that were in very reasonable biking distance, like you know, two to five kilometers, perfect distance to bike. Um, but you know, we, we tried a few times, but it, it's hard to understate just how awful it is to bike in traffic. And yeah, it was it was just it, yeah, it's, it's hard to understate how bad biking in traffic can be. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> Totally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> having, having, having flashbacks now. <laughs> How long did you guys were you in in Toronto? Five, six years. Oh wow! So some time. So did yeah. you see a transformation over those years in terms of an enhancement yeah, and improvement? Okay. Uh, yeah. So this shot here is of uh, Bloor Street, and that's near where we lived. And we were there when they put in a pilot project to introduce these 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 bike lanes here, and it was covered maybe three kilometers, which is not especially impressive, but it is actually, it was actually very useful for us in terms of connecting us to different places, like to the university where, where I went and to different parks and, and shops and stuff. So having the, these Boy Street bike lanes be implemented was very important in helping us develop comfort in biking around the city. Like it seems so simple, but just having bike lanes to start using it, it even helps you develop confidence to bike in traffic. And so the, the Board Street bike, way, bike lanes were a pretty big factor in us getting more into cycling. Yeah. It's interesting that you, you, you talk about the, the fact that, you know, having this infrastructure, you know, helps give you a little bit more confidence to be able to uh, deal with uh, environments that are a little less <laughs> inviting. Jasmine, for you personally, how, how you know, how did that sort of manifest itself? Was it just the fact that you were able to ride more frequently and therefore you wanted to ride more frequently and, and therefore have a little bit more confidence over time? Yeah, I think so. I think just knowing that you have a, a like a route that, that you're aware of even that will be partially protected right. is a very big uh, factor. Um, you know, you just you just know. Oh, I just go out to this this major road, and then I'm I'm okay. And um, I guess like slowly, you you start like developing your own roots um, and knowing where to go and stuff. But I think yeah, having that major artery there um, that will take you to a lot of useful destinations, like Patrick mentioned, is um, yeah, really really big factor. 